I only contact him when he's stealing people's jokes. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> the last time I contacted him, his, his, his Netflix special was coming out. So I said, you know, that joke you do about the uh, World Series, the Little League World Series, that's basically word for word David Tell joke about Halloween and the Super Bowl. And, he, and Neil's like, what? <laughs> was nice enough to work it out so he could do both shows. Uh, please welcome to the show, Kevin Brennan, everybody. Hi. Hi, Neil's uh, brother. You got to put on that, this because you got to listen to uh, Ari. I'm just here to meet Billy Burr. Is he here? Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Brennan was taken. Kevin Brennan 1 was taken. So I, as a joke, I did Kevin Brennan 666. And now my podcasts are all like, I shit on everybody. Yeah. So people like think I'm like worship the devil or whatever. I don't worship. I just uh, I just agree with a lot of just things a, he said. Yeah. So <laughs> you're a guy that <laughs> worships. Him, that's a tell. I got to say that's a tells joke. I don't worship. I just uh, agree with a lot of things he said. No, but I'm like I'm like the dark lord or something. I don't yeah. know. I just, hate, I just hate Neil. I just hate Neil. So people think I'm. Aww. I'm the devil because I hate my own brother. Who could hate his own brother? It turns out I have five brothers, so I have a, I can afford to hate a couple. You, sure. There's five Brennan yeah, brothers? Yeah, I'm one of ten, five brothers. So. Five? Uh -huh. your, your mother gave birth to ten people. Yeah. That's like Eleanor's mom. Holy Yeah, shit. Eleanor Kerrigan. Yeah. Five yeah. guys, five girls. No, five, six boys, four girls. Wow. I have five brothers. I make six boys. Wow. Wow. It's a lot of milk. That is Neil a, was the last. Too. Your mom was that's like a t-shirt Entitled gun. cunt. <laughs> he was the last one? Yeah, that's why he's a spoiled entitled cunt. And in uh, case you didn't hear it the first time. He expressed by Kevin Brennan instead of Kevin Brennan and Kevin Brennan only. <laughs> I wish I could do a Bill Burr's accent. He's a fucking cunt. <laughs> have, you, have you tried to contact him while you've been out here? Bill Burr? No. No, your uh, brother. No, no. I only contact him when he's stealing people's jokes. Oh, What? <laughs> <laughs> the last time I contacted him, his, his, his Netflix special was coming out. So I said, you know, that joke you do about the uh, World Series, the Little League World Series, that's basically word for word David Tell joke about Halloween and the Super Bowl. And, he, and Neil's like, what? <laughs> why, don't you, why, don't you tell, why don't you tell me before it came out? Because I, I saw him do the show live in New York. He didn't, I, he, I didn't ask him. I just bought my own ticket undercover i didn't even use a credit card in case he was on now, some kind of list real quick before and so, you got and so i said i told oh, a tell oh, oh, oh. i told a tell i told a tell if you don't fucking uh tell neely to stop stealing your jokes then i'm gonna fucking make it a twitter thing so when you went undercover what was your costume like was it like a glasses and fake mustache yeah, with a hat yeah. with a long hair yeah and a trench coat <laughs> I, wore that. I wore a pothead fucking hoodie <laughs> <laughs> and nobody would suspect because I'm so anti-weed. I yeah. can't tell no. that weed smoker or a Satan worshiper. No, what happened was I, I just told a show. I told a story on Bert. But what happened was uh, I, I didn't want to use a credit card because I thought they may be like, oh, you're oh you're Brennan. Oh, oh the uh, Neil Brennan. You're re any relation? No. So I pay cash. Uh, and then they, they still, they go, what, uh, what's your email? And I'm like, why do they need my email? And, I, and then I go, okay, and what's your name? And, I, and then I thought, I gave him a fake name. I said, I was Kevin Wilson. And I thought they <coughs> might, they might attach, they might figure out my email is not, is not, is not, you know, whatever. Right. It's not linking to my real name. So I thought they might ban me, but they didn't, you know. Who, now who's running the, uh, tickets, the CIA? Cause this is very like. Uh, no, I, but why would they? Why would they need my name if I'm paying cash? That's a great point. I That's mean, I could see if they're like if they need my ID if I if I'm paying with a credit card, but I'm paying cash. Who asked for your fucking name? What's the last time you paid cash at the Seven Eleven for for some weed stuff? <laughs> and they some asked, weed stuff. And they asked for your He's fucking, buying papers and a roach clip. <laughs> and they asked for your name. When's the last time that they don't? When your cash is like that's why you pay cash because there, there's no names exchanged. Oh yeah, that's when you want to keep it like. Uh, so I thought private. maybe they had a picture of me, and Neil was like, "Don't let him in." I didn't interrupt the show. Imagine if you got, did that with a hooker. She was asking for all your info. When yeah. You just trying to pay cash. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, bitch, this is, right? this is keep it off the record. Yeah, PayPal this, bitch. <laughs> you Looks you like dumbass. Sarah Silverman's tit. <laughs> <laughs> His left ball. Hello? <laughs> oh, no, Jesus. I look so. I, I, people always bring this up because it's on my Wikipedia that Sarah Silverman lost her virginity to me. Really? And people are like, oh my God, you. you f 
I'm like, yeah, her fucking, she was so young. Her tits were veiny. And I was like, I didn't know if that was like, cause they were new tits or whatever, but I wasn't, I, I wasn't, in, I wasn't into it, you know? And I was dating an older woman at the same time who had like non veiny tits. You know? So let me ask you something. Sarah Silverman was your side piece. Yeah. While you were banging someone else. Popular? No, I, yeah. I was running open mic at Boston comedy club. And then uh, Sarah wanted to get more <laughs> spots. Uh, so, so you're saying Sarah Silverman fucked you for open for mics? Spots. Spots. I, I'm absolutely saying that. I'll go to court. I'll go on. A, <laughs> I'll go on any kind of proof you need. Yeah. So. <laughs> and then she. And then I was like, I, I, she was like too young, and I wasn't into it. And then uh, I didn't know she was gonna be a fucking movie uh, actress. And when you call I almost her said up, movie star. That would have been a mistake. Movie actress. When uh, when you uh, call her up, do you drop that? I don't remember when no, I gave she you stage time for pussy. She won't take my calls anymore. Mm. <laughs> when do I? I mean, she'll. No, I mean, if. If I, if I if I I know where she lives. If I went to her house, she would take me. She would like let me up. You know now, when I mean? did you watch the Gary Shandling show that was just on uh, the Gary no. Shandling when they were talking? No. They interviewed a, Sarah Silverman, no. and she couldn't stop talking about how much she loved going to Gary Shandling's house on the weekends to play basketball. Basket, quote unquote you, basketball. Do you think that's what she was there for? The play <laughs> show basketball? us your balls again. That's the kind of basketball she was playing. <laughs> no, she, no, they always play basketball, and she would. And I I don't know if Gary Shandling. Wanted to date Sarah, but I guess they never did. But uh, I think he was maybe past that point where he was like into women, or like yeah, I think he reached oh, you a think point. He fucked so many chicks. Now he's in the weird goats. And no, like yeah, no. I think he was just. I stuff. think he was like in new and just kind of like put himself out the pasture, where he's like, I don't do that anymore. And plus, he got into trouble with that lady. Oh, that, his ex, yeah. Yeah, so I think Who he was sued like. Him? Yeah, I think he was like, you know what? I'll just have people come over and play basketball. Sarah's a nice lady. She's wonderful. She, she played basketball in the we had a comedians basketball league in in, in uh, L A and she played once and I gotta tell you she was fucking awful there was no reason to have her on the court it was I believe a clear it clear from men to women on that her fucking TV credits got her on a team I mean like why would she, you know I mean if she played with Shanley every week you think she'd be a little bit better you know, uh, you know but, but I think he wanted over there just to, for a different kind of you know probably like young Jewish chicks around so they could talk about the Torah yeah I mean how many David? times can you talk to Suli McCullough <laughs> I was just shitting on Steve Byrne because he keeps tweeting out he's, he's working on his fifth hour. I'm like, nobody even watches third hour. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> nobody gives a fuck about his fifth fucking hour. Like, Hilarious. nobody. Even his family's like, all right, we get it. You know? <laughs> you like trying to talk. To, yeah, you're trying to get some interest in your fifth hour. But it's like, listen, come on, come on. Let's be realistic, Steve Byrne. I love you. He's a very handsome guy. If I was in jail, Steve Byrne, sign me up. Beautiful Sign man, up. half Sign Asian. Up for what? To hit it or him to fuck you? Which Either way, you're a beautiful <laughs> man, half a Asian. I was, I was soft spot for half Asian people. Hush. I already told you, I'm not good. Well, are you, everybody says you're great. No, well they're lying. <laughs> you know everybody lies out here. Oh, oh you're yeah. great. You're great, and totally. they won't fucking take your call. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take your call. Dave Chappelle told me to text him whenever I want to. You know, he was drunk, but he gave me his number. <laughs> and I, whenever I, I asked him, I text him once in a while. <laughs> Are you just to say hi? No, I just I text him. I want to do my podcast. And he just ghosted me. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I know they've been through a, a lot with the slavery thing and everything. But come on, man. what what slavery? <laughs> you got at least do my. Oh, podcast. you're talking about the M word, where it stems from. I know where it stems from. I just want to hear you say it. Oh, okay, all right. Because right. I heard you're a cuck. I you heard. That. <laughs> I did a podcast last night, and they I, I didn't really enjoy it, but. The guy goes, he said, uh, your brother's wildly successful. And I'm like, oh, I guess you didn't see the box office on the female brain because they did <laughs> fucking. Oh, come on. It did 19,000. 19,000. 19,000. You can't even buy a fucking decent car with 19,000. That's what it did at the box office. Well, how many movie theaters? It don't it matter, in? motherfucker. I almost called you the N-word. It don't matter. <laughs> it's still, it still came out the same weekend as, as Black Panther. And Neil would be like, yeah, well, they still a lot of our fucking box office first of all black panther's not even good and it did like a billion it, it so, wasn't good so how bad was female brain female brain look it up look it up on uh go to any of those box office things Nineteen thousand. they yanked it out of the theater to give more fucking space to the fucking black panther <laughs> i almost said the m-word again <laughs> you have very fucking passionate views about black panther <laughs> so if that's wildly successful then god forbid yeah what is it at now it's still because they yanked it even what? Yeah, I, I can't wait till Stop, it gets. Stop, dude! I take can't, that down. I can't wait till it gets to Netflix. It take might, that it down. might fucking bring down Netflix. It might make it fucking negative crash. 
<laughs> people not watching it will fucking tank the whole. That's so funny. Uh, and literally 19,000. It really was. Stop. Actually, that's not true. It's 19,200. Yeah, so, yeah, because my mom went three times. <laughs> so he's wildly successful because he just directed a fucking Kia commercial. <laughs> I'm gonna punch him right in his fucking cunt, and I, with all due respect. <laughs> did you and Landau make up? Do you guys no, friends now? No, I blocked him on Twitter. <laughs> Why? Well, you either. guys are both really funny. Are we? Yeah. Anyway, I've never seen his act. But Dave's he's, funny. Now he's. Uh, are you know him for real? I've known him. Yeah, you know his like, act and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, he whatever. He he didn't get how sh I, I I didn't he didn't get how show business works. He thought he was there for to to talk about his act okay. or whatever. Whatever, but anyway. Who else don't story. you like? Yeah, I don't who like. Else, who else don't you like? I don't like. like? I didn't like Ari a couple of weeks ago when I had to Why? follow him at the stand. And he Why? did that whole fucking jury duty bit, and it fucking killed. And they looked at me like, "You don't have a bit about jury duty?" No, I don't. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. So I, I, that's the reason I don't. I end up don't liking a lot of people because I got to follow them, and then, then it's <laughs> and you don't like following them. No, if they if they bury me, I don't like. I'm not happy about but it. But you've been you know? doing comedy for like what a couple years now. You I should told be, you. you should be I crushed. already told you I'm not good. Well, uh, you, everybody says you're great. No, well they're lying. <laughs> you Nobody know lies out here. Oh, oh you're yeah. great. You're great, and totally. they won't fucking take your call. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take your call. Dave Chappelle told me to text him whenever I want to. You know, he was drunk, but he gave me his number. And I, whenever I, I asked him, I text him once in a while. Uh -huh. <laughs> or you just to say hi? No, I just, I text him. I want to do my podcast. And he just ghosted me. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I know they've been through a, a lot with the slavery thing and everything, but come on. Man. What, what slavery <laughs> You got at least do my no, podcast. No, you're talking about the M word, where it stems from. I know where it stems from. I just want to hear you say it. Oh, okay. All right. Because right. I heard you're a cuck. I, you heard that. <laughs>